Hello, Jani here. Um, I've just, um, I'm here at the art house and I was just doing a technique that I use called brain dumping and I thought it would be a really good time to grab my iPhone and film quickly a little uh, mini play shop on how to do a magical brain dump. So um, I'm going to move the camera around because I'm going to arm and then you can see the, you can see the things behind me. I'm in the kids corner, yay. Um, so um, brain dumping is a really good anti-overwhelm tool because um, what you can do is get all of the um, kind of jobs you need to do and all the different areas um, that you have to think about um, out onto paper, out of your head and you can start getting um, some planning done and you can use it as a basis for planning further. So I've been doing a little brain dump here. I'm gonna point the camera, there it is. And as you can see, it's quite epic. I generally get two big pieces of paper, um, sellotape them together or tape them together or get a very big piece of paper. And I get lots of different color pens and I get some tea, um, very important part of the brain dumping process is a beverage. Um, and then I sort of start in the middle, as you can see with epic brain dump. And then um, I tend to not, um, I've done one, two, three, four, five, and then two sort of slightly side ones here. I tend not to brain dump more than about six different areas onto one page because then you can kind of compound the overwhelm by creating another sort of um, overwhelming thing. Um, and I use the colours to colour code. So I've done up here, I've got, um, we're recruiting a new member of staff. So I've created an orange section here for that and all the things that need to do there. Um, I've got a kind of money section, which is green. I've got a uh, membership because we're doing some legal changes to the company at the moment. And then I've got building related things are red. Let's make sure I've got that in. There it is. Uh, with some blue because I got muddled with my pens. Happens. And then um, I've got some art exhibition stuff I'm sorting up over here. And then there's a little bit of joining the money and things because there's some fundraising involved with, with those things. Um, but basically what I do is I um, create a little area for each thing. And then I'll list down the things that need to happen in order for that to be kind of um, underway or finished. And I don't really put pressure on it to be a finished thing every time. Um, <clears throat> but just to, to get out of my head all the things I think, oh, I've got to sort of sort out paint and that means we've got to go to this shop to get the paint. And that means that I have to like speak to Bic. And so I can, you can also use color codes for people. So if you're doing a project that involves a lot of people, um, I also sometimes have colored stickers for people. So I'll put the colored sticker for each person next to the job that I need to delegate to them or that I need their support with. And basically the way of doing it is not to create massive, huge, extra overwhelm and fear but to get it all out of your head and into some kind of structure. And then also you can look and see, well, look, is there anything on here that can wait? Is there anything on here I can put a pin in till next week or next month? Is there anything on here that isn't actually really that necessary and I'm kind of just doing because I feel like I need to be doing something? And um, it also gives you scope to delegate because, of course, once it's outside your brain and on paper, you can give it to someone else to do. So there's a couple of areas here that I've put people's names next to that... Um, I can delegate these things to people, and um, but I've still got them listed, and that means I can follow up and check that things are happening. So um, yeah, I thought I'd come and share that quickly and um, show you a little bit of art house. And um, yeah, it's a it's a really useful technique. I would suggest that you do it. And then what I do with the brain dump, I will quite often um, stick it up on the wall for a while. <clears throat> um, again, not to be scary and overwhelming, but just to remind me what needs to be done. So you can use the brain dump as your to-do list. If you've got wall space, you can put it up on the wall. You can actually cross things off as you do them or add things. Though watch how much you add. You might need to start a new one. Um, the other thing that I might do now, because I'm in a communal space here and um, sticking my brain dump up on the wall, might be really um, a bit much for people. Um, so what I will probably do now is go through each section and go through and um, use my magical planner. I love my final facts. Um, use my magical planner and to-do lists in there to create a little section for each project and to create little to-do lists as well. And then the last thing, the most important thing of all, because you can brain dump it all out and you can put it all on your to-do list, but you need to schedule time. So you need to say, I'm going to do this on this date. I'm going to do this at this time. Uh, or and, and that really helps you to start moving ahead. Because if you don't schedule it, then it's just something on a piece of paper that's making you feel 
I'm horribly overwhelmed. And remember that if you schedule or plan, you can change schedules and plans. They're not carved into stone, not unless you're really very crafty with your schedules and plans. Um, but you can, um, if you plan and schedule, it makes something actionable, it makes something real, and it just takes it out of your head and puts it onto a list so that you can get through it, get done, get stuff done, get your lovely dreams going, and um, move forward with your life and your creativity and your business and yummy. Okay, hope you enjoyed this. And um, this is me at the art house. I say bye bye, bye bye. Mm -hmm.